Okay, I'm back. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the um, the Conair Ultimate Fabric Steamer. So if any of you are interested in uh, steaming your clothing, this here is uh, a unit that uh, does that. Okay, so we're going to do an unboxing here and uh, we'll see what uh, fun we can have putting this together. So this is the Conair Ultimate Fabric Steamer. Okay. Okay, let's start. Um, okay, this is a one-man operation here. So uh, let's see here. Ugh, let's pop this open here. Okay. Having trouble just getting this little tab open here, people. Okay, there we go. Uh, slap this up like so. And pop this open like so and okay so the first thing we see here is the hose attachment at the top here let's take a look at it here okay this is the particular hose that comes with this particular model okay and that's the uh, lower half of it there okay let's take uh, this out here Discard that. Okay. Uh, so we have a hanger. Okay, so it does have a post where you can hang the garments and you can uh, steam when it's standing up. And a lower clip. Okay. As you can see here. All right. This is the post. Okay. And it extends. It does extend. Okay. And you got some instructions here. Instructions. And an important safety, safeguard some information to make sure you don't uh, do anything too crazy. And, um, oh, this is the unit here. All right. All right. And uh, I guess this is more instruction, so. Okay, so we'll put this uh, aside. And uh, let's open this up here. Okay, let's take a look. So, I don't know what that uh, is on there. Okay, so this here looks like uh, where you would put the, uh, the water, of course, in your water reservoir there. And the hose, I guess, this part here goes in here, and the post, which is this, I guess slips in here. And I do believe this, this looks like it tightens it here. Okay, so let's put this baby together and have a little fun. Okay, so uh, let's put this baby together. So we'll start off with the post, which fits right in here. Okay. Gotta get the little sweet spot, it goes right down like that. And right in the bottom here is your tightener. Now, this is not an industrial strength uh, type of steamer, okay? Everything's all plastic, everything will work, but you gotta understand when you're buying a non industrial type item, these plastic pieces here, you don't really wrench it because over after about 10 or 15 times, it'll probably crack and break. They're not made well. <laughs> I mean, this unit is probably okay, this, this unit here, but the accessories on, on any of this stuff, everything's made in China. Um, the accessories is always gonna be, you know, well, cheap, <laughs> okay? So I'm just saying it doesn't work. I'm just saying that if you wanna prolong the life, don't wrench anything, okay? Like so, okay. By the way, uh, this does have a cord. I never showed you that in the beginning there. And at the bottom here, there is a wheel right here. Okay, so you kind of move it around a little bit. There's no wheels in the back, <laughs> back here. Okay, let me see if I can get close to the camera so you can see the wheel. Okay, and here's your on and off switch right here. Okay, on and off, okay. And this is what the bottom looks like. See the wheel and this here is the, uh, it's a, 
reservoir plug. Um, I'll explain that in a little, a little bit later. Okay. So, anyways, also, I'll get you a closer look of everything a little later. This here um, goes right in here. Let's see if I can get in one shot. No, let's clip, put it like that. This is my first time doing this, so it's supposed to be clockwise. Okay, it's like that, and this locks it like that. Boy, nice and simple. Okay. Okay, so let's put this baby together. Okay. This is a cord here. Okay, now, uh, in the last segment, I put this together. It's just a twist on. Okay, clockwise to twist it in and kind of clockwise to twist it off. Okay, this is the post here. Okay, as you can see, it extends. Okay, now this accessory right here is the lower hanger. Okay, let me get you a little closer here. The lower hanger. So you would put this in here like so. And again, it has a, a tightener right here. Don't wrench it, just, just tighten it till it doesn't uh, move. But don't uh, really wrench it in there because, as I said, this is all plastic. It'll snap in no time. But you get what you pay for. Okay? The accessories in these things are never, you know, that's why they cut corners. <laughs> okay. I'm talking about every, every, every company now. Everything you buy. If there's an accessory or it comes with this or it comes with that, the accessory is cheap. Okay? Okay. Now, that's in there like that. And just tighten that like so. Okay, now this does extend up, okay, but right now it's going to get out of the shot, so I'm only going to uh, go a little ways. Okay, now when you pull these posts up, again, they have tabs to lock them. Again, don't wrench these, these will snap like this. <laughs> I'm looking at this. I mean, this is, I mean, that's just how they make them now, you know what I mean? So, anyways. When you're extending the post, don't snap that thing. Don't snap the little tabs. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this up so it can get in the shot. Okay, because um, this here is the other hanger. Okay, which slips on like this, like so. So when you have a piece of garment, and if it's long, you can clamp it at the bottom and the top, keep it straight, and then you, you know, spray the nozzle. And this acts as a hold, a holder like so. Okay. You plug it in. You snap that on like so. Of course. Let's take a look at here. At the bottom here is where you would put the water. Now let's just make sure this is a little spring action here with this. A little black thing. Gotta make sure that that's working. Or we'll take it back to the store. That's very important. And that's where you would put the water. Now, when it comes to the water, these, uh, the reservoirs down here will get, if you use like tap water, the reservoirs down there over a period of time will calcify and you won't get that much steam, then you have to clean it. So I suggest you lose, you use distilled water. You can pick it up anywhere. Distilled water. And that'll solve that problem of uh, having to clean that out. So that's how it's put together. Okay, so this is it all put together. Okay. The posts are up. And this is a tab here that you clamp it with. Again, be very careful with that. Okay, and this down here is the lower hanger, and this is what tightens the lower hanger here. At the bottom here, this is what tightens the post in, okay? Don't wrench those things, okay? This here is where you plug the holes in, clockwise, it's in, and counterclockwise, it's out. This here is where you put the water. That's the reservoir, you don't want to clog up with tap water. Okay, if you want to, uh, if you do clog it up, you just have to, as I said, uh, it's a little cleaning process, it'll take a little bit, but you just put some vinegar in there, okay? 
And uh, again, the other thing too is you look here at the back, it shows you don't don't overfill this, okay? The lines here will tell you how many minutes of steam you have, okay? 30, 45, 60, 75, 80 minutes of steam, okay? Don't overflow. Do not put hot water in there. Start it off with room, room temperature water, okay? Or cold water, but don't start off with hot steaming water, okay? Uh, again, use distilled water, okay? At the bottom, I showed you at the beginning, I don't know if I wanna turn that over, but if you do have to clean this, there is a plug at the bottom I showed you at the very first onset of the video. I'll show you at the end. And that's where you would uh, unplug that to let the water out from the bottom. And uh, you can also pour whatever is in the reservoir here out from the top, okay? So that's the baby all put together. Up here you have your hanger. You can hang this baby. I got the I gotta get the confetti out of there and start using this baby. Okay, so uh, just before I go, I will show you the bottom and where the plug is, and we'll end it there. Again, so uh, this is it all this is it all put together. Here's the on and off switch. It's all plugged in. Okay, and let's uh, put it on. Okay, right there. And this is where you can hang the garment, right here. Okay. Now, uh, you will hear like some gurgling sounds and stuff like that, but don't get worried. I just clicked it in right now, and you can see the steam's already starting to come out. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want it to get in my lens. Okay. It's already ready to go. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it, that steam is incredibly hot. Incredibly hot. So you got to be real careful, okay? And when you're uh, steaming away, make sure it doesn't hit your face or your hands or any part of your body. Because this is extremely hot. So that's how it works. Okay, so in wrapping this up, if you do have to clean out uh, the because of uh, calcium buildup or whatever it might build up, over a period of time at the bottom here when when you do clean it uh, the bottom here also has a plug that you can uh, drain out that's another that's another drain right there okay and again that's a wheel that you on and off switch so as I said if you use tap water there'll probably be a buildup in there and it could affect the spring on this as well too so I just suggest you just use distilled water it's not that much more. I, uh, this 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 year I paid uh, this is too much I paid a dollar seventy seventeen for that <laughs> so it's not that you know for a dollar seventeen not to have to clean this is you know best so uh, again thank you very much for uh, watching uh, please like and subscribe and uh, I'll uh, see you when I make another video my friends.